Hey, Dex here with another achievement guide on Borderlands 3 on the Gun, Love and Tentacles DLC. Today we're going to go for the Industrious in the Face of Cosmic Terror, it's worth 50G, which you get for completing all the crew challenges and side missions. So there are three types of crew challenges. There are presents to find, there are statues to take out, and there are hunts to kill. The one we're seeing at the moment is a hunt. And like I say, there is 15 in total, five of each of these. I'm not going to tell you where all of the side missions are because they're pretty obvious where they are if you go into your map and go in each area. If there is a mission in that particular area there will be a yellow explanation mark telling you where to go. The crew challenges are a little bit more hidden so we'll go through them each map place by map place to show you where you need to go. So the one we've just been talking through there, talking over the top of, was a hunt located in Skittermore Base Inn. And the second one in this area is a gift. So the hunt, as you saw, was kind of just near one of the exits. You'll always see a map at the start of each kind of point telling you where you need to go. But the gift is basically on a bandit camp. So you will make your way all the way to the top, which is kind of in the middle of the map and the present is just up at the top there. So this is kind of an awkward one to get to out of all of the different presents that we're going to go for in this video. This is the most awkward one and you'll see I fall halfway through um, and have to do it again. But basically because you know where it is it's it, it, that makes it quite easy. If you didn't know where it is that's where the difficulty would have been in this one. So you've kind of got to just platform your way around this area and it is quite obvious where you need to go because you've got them planks uh, and as you see I managed to miss that jump but I promise you the next time when we go around I will make it to show you where we need to go uh, but as long as you platform around you'll be able to pick up that present for present number two and that will be the end of the side quests in the Skittermore Basin. Most of them have three, some of the areas have two but like I say I'll be talking you through all of them and as you can see that's where the presence located or a gift whatever you want to call it so from here we're going to go to the cow the town of curse haven and the first thing we're going to go for is a hunt which is i'm going to butcher the name of this uh, do i even want to say the name of the point where i want you to teleport to we'll go for it uh, it's withernat cemetery spawn and then I've just put a marker where the hunt is that you need to go to. So if you go around, if you're max level, by the way, well, I didn't talk about the hunts before. If you're max level, you should have no problem at all taking out these hunts. Um, you'll see, I'll take this guy out in literally, I'm pre pretty sure. So he's got three sets of health and we managed to take him out in two shots. And that's all it is. The next thing we're going to go for is a statue again in Curse Haven. There's also a gift here, but... First of all, we'll go to the statue, where I want you to start by going to the same place as the last time, the Withernat Cemetery spawn. Then we're going to head towards the cemetery. As you can see, I've already taken out the statue. On your map, if you've already done it, the actual thing that will be there will be greyed out rather than highlighted in a colour. But I'll just quickly show you where you need to go anyway to get that statue. The statues will deal damage to you, so make sure to take them out quickly. But mainly it's just a case of just like one shot, as you'll see here. Bang, and it's taken out and destroyed. There's a bit of side dialogue which you can listen to if you're whilst you're going to get if you want. I'm gonna skip past them as you may have already noticed. Well I would didn't get one in that one anyway because we've already taken it out. But anyway, I'm babbling on again. So we'll go for the gift in Cursed Haven and this time I want you to spawn at Bleak Terrace which is this one here then from that spawn point I'm just going to quickly go for a little run down these sets of stairs down another set of stairs and down a third set of stairs you can already see on the map where it is but again it's a little bit of platform needed to get to that area not much platform just as long as you make that one jump this time then you find the gift of Curse and that's our second area completed for crew challenges. So from here we're going to go to Dustbound Archives. I'm going to go find two crew challenges here. One is a gift and I probably should have shown you this one second rather than first. 
but that's by the by. Just after you defeat the boss, mini boss of this area, you'll be able to platform round to pick up this gift. There's a bit of a theme with the gifts, they all revolve around platforming areas, but that is our next gift to be found there. And the second crew is a statue, which there is a room right at the start of spawn. We're not going to go through that one, we're going to go to the map room, which you'll see in a second when uh, I show you the map. So you see you've got the big map room, which kind of corners off into left, right or straight on. You want to go right and then to the edge of that room and then up your left hand stairs and up the next set of stairs as well. And you will find the statue in this area take that one out and we can finish with Dustbound Archives. So as we finish that, which we just have here, we are off to the Kanker Woods. Again, I apologise if I butcher any of these pronunciations. You know what I'm like. This one is located in the first kind of area that tails off. You kind of saw, again, from the map you can see where you need to go. But if you follow the map round and then there's this area here which tails off to the right, go up the stairs and you'll find that there. There is also a hunt here and there is a gift as well. All three side things are located here. But our hunt is located in what I'll call the town area. The place where there's lots and lots of buildings. You come to this area and again there's a little bit that kind of tails off. Which you can kind of tell us something. You will find the hunt side. What are we going to call them? We're going to call them, well let's just call them what they are, crew challenges. And then finally there will be a gift that you need to get. The gift is located near the end of this particular area. If you follow the map round, if you were playing on the the story at this point, I believe Claptrap appears at this point here and starts telling you about updating his mission. He really kind of appears in the middle sort of area. Uh, but the present I've already accidentally collected so I can't show you exactly where it is. But it's pretty much where I'm shooting at now. So you just have a platform, not even platform, you just have to climb up the four sets of stairs. Then you should find a present just where I'm shooting or a gift, whatever you want to call it. So from here we're going to go off to our next area, Nagul Nashai. We've only got one more area left after this. So the first thing we're going to go for is a statue. And this statue is located before going to the ship, it's just on the way to the ship. Um, it's like kind of a base entrance, then if you go to the left hand side of that base then you will find the statue. There is also a present located on the bridge just as you would cross to get onto the ship just before you go underneath the burning area where all the, the jets are shooting down. There's a very clear bridge, this is quite a kind of standout area so to speak and the present's located underneath the bridge so you've got to fall down this little area here. You can't fall down onto the platform where the present is. I already made that mistake twice. It died twice. But you'll then find the little, little present right bound there. And finally, we'll have a hunt to take out in this area as well, which is just before the end of this area. So it's in the ship just before you make it out to the boss. You can head off to the right. So you see we are on the ship. If we went left at this point, you kind of go upstairs and then go find the boss. But instead we're going to go right into this room here. And this one's probably the hardest hunt to take out. It's still pretty easy to take out with the weapons we've got. But a few shots and that is our hunt down. And finally we're going to go move on to Heart's Desire for our last two crew challenges. There is a hunt left to get and a statue left to get. Obviously as I mentioned at the start you've got all of your side quests still to go. But these are how you'll complete all of the, the crew challenges. So the hunt is located just next to what beats beneath spawn. Instead of going straight on you can kind of turn around and there's this little area here where you'll find a hunt to take out this guy here. He goes down and that's our true screw challenge complete. And the last, very last but not least, is the statue located in Heart's Desire, which can be found in the second off last room before the final boss of this DLC. 
if you make your way up the elevator which is this one here and then jump onto the roof of this building that's the only way to get to this area by the way so make sure you do that then just jumping up the crate you will find a statue there shoot that statue and Bobby is your uncle that is all of your crew challenges complete like I say your side quests you shouldn't have any issues with they're easy to locate not very difficult at all just if you beat them all uh, I might put something in the description with a little bit of uh, background of what you need to do but I hope this guide helps out for you if it does please smash that like button leave a comment if you've got any issues and I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as I can subscribe for more daily guides and I'll see you in the next video bye